hey hi in this video i'm gonna show you how to use google cloud video intelligence api with python for video transcription purpose so here as you see in this ppt this ppt depicts my demo here i'm gonna show you how we can write a, a python code so that it can transcribe the words spoken in the video into in the form of a, a script basically or in the form of a, a letters how we can convert that voice into speech into text basically right or, or under the hood it is called as a transcription in in technological world basically right so here developer you know would be writing the python script where uh, he would be uploading the video which we're going to transcribe in this one uh, in this session is, is with the um, google cloud storage bucket yeah and we're going to use the video intelligence api specially meant for transcription purpose and finally we're going to see that you know this script does the transcription of the video right? and we're going to see the you know the communication been made in the video is is exactly like how we are getting in the in the form of text basically yeah all right so with that note i will jump for the uh the prerequisite of this uh video basically yeah so here prerequisite is you should have a google cloud uh account if you don't have you can subscribe it from the google cloud it is there you know google cloud is providing you 300 uh, uh, dollars free for three months yeah so for that case what i did is i went to my google cloud account so this is my google cloud and i enabled video intelligence apis you see and henceforth the status of my api is looking something like this okay so this becomes a prerequisite for the video all right so one more thing is i have created a, a bucket that is cloud storage bucket so in this one i created uh you know i have uploaded a dot mp4 file this is a video which contains uh some nice visualization of about the nature and also somebody speaks from the behind we need to transcribe the you know the words being spoken in this video that is the main aim right all right so that is about the prerequisite of this video now i'm going to go back to the script side that is python code okay so this is where my python code i have created anyways this script will be shared in my uh, videos description uh, by sharing the my github repository you can find the script from the github repository as well so here let me walk you through this code and i'm going to be going to see that you know how does the uh, you know we are using the google cloud uh, video intelligence apis to transcribe the video right all right, so let me go from the top. Basically, as I said, you know, so you need to have your system installed with the uh, Google Cloud SDK for for Python. Uh, that is, you know, that is you just need to install the pip install, you know, Google Cloud basically. Yeah, and then once it is done, you need to add a statement called Google Cloud dot Google dot Cloud import video intelligence, and then we have added the uh, import OS, right? Because I need the OS model here, and then uh, this is the place where I have kept the um my you know service account credentials or service account tokens have been kept in this json file so here you know you need to have a minimum um, google cloud video intelligence permissions has to be there in on, on your um service account so i have a service account so that service account has uh has certain permissions yeah so the uh, for this case i have created a service account with the admin privilege but in your case you can make it more refined permissions yeah all right, so this is where the place where I'm authenticating to Google Cloud to to interact with the Google Cloud APIs, basically. Yeah, this is very very important step. And then let me go to the next one. So basically, here we are creating the video client. So the video client is nothing but what that is a video intelligence client from the Google Cloud. So from the Google Cloud, we are importing a module called Video Intelligence. In that one, we want to um, create an object of class called Video Intelligence Service Client. And here is our object. Yeah. So this object will be used for you know for the purpose. Let let's see what is it, right? And then we are creating a feature. So feature is video intelligence feature in that one. Which feature we are you we are using? So basically, sp speech transcription, um, you know. So feature is being used under video intelligence. That's the reason the feature is been created here. Similarly, let me go to the config. So config is nothing but you know that is a. So basically, what are these? Video client is a basically client. Feature is a is a kind of a variable, and also config is also again a variable to that are needed to invoke the api basically yeah that's what we are doing it here so again from the video intelligence we are invoking a function called speech transcription configuration and in that one language is being hard coded to us uh, us english language and then the enable automatic punctuation equal to true. so this is the place where actually when somebody speaks right the 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 transcribed text has to be in the form of proper punctuation so that you know somebody if reads that has to understand it okay that's the reason punctuation has to be enabled here all right so um yeah so let me okay so this is the one so let me go back again to the uh to the from the from the code walkthrough so we were here right so all right and then comes the you know once we are done with the um so config then we have to add a video context here so video context has been added by to again to the video intelligence video context 
speech so you see the speech transcription config and the config is been fed as an input here right and then comes the client so client with using the client we are invoking a function called annote the video so annote is a video is nothing but you know so you are making the all set in the sense you are creating the you know the required uh, a syntax you are building the required syntax to invoke the api that is a get api basically maybe are maybe post api yeah all right so that is how the that is how the syntax of these uh, sdk uh, code works so we have to just follow it okay so we don't need to modify this yeah all right then the, in the unnote videos so we are having a request and the request contains a dictionary where it contains a feature equal to feature so feature contains this is what the data has been fed it here and the input url is the place where you are actually feeding the video that is the video is your input and output is here you know so that is a transcript that is nothing but text right so video speech is converted into a text and then video context so this is the video context has been given here and we have built an operation and that operation has to be resultized in the sense basically you know somebody has to invoke that operation then only you will get a result and the result and also that kind of job is done by the result operation yeah and within that we are setting some timeout basically 10 minute is been set as a timeout here and that's also basically this is the bread and butter of the script basically you know so this is what actually these lines are actually doing a video transcription remember that this is a static video transcription okay this is not like a dynamic video transcription remember it yeah all right so if i go down so once we have a result from the result we want to extract the annotation so this is the operation where where you do where you do operation on a complete video get the result and from the result you need to extract the transcript okay that is what the job is here right so here we are going what we are doing is we are annoting the result here so basically you know so from the from the result we are actually getting the results of of top one or, or basically top index and from the annotation result basically we are again you know what we are doing is we are doing an iteration via for loop and the each item in this uh, speech transcriptions is being taken as a speech transcription and then again within that we are actually again iterating it with the with the for loop or for for getting the results that is a speech transcription will have a different alternatives right so for each alternative we need to extract the transcript so for each alternative what we are doing is we are just getting the transcript and the confidence of the respective you know conversion the respective wise converted into a text basically yeah all right so this is all about the uh you know the code walkthrough i have a, another piece of code i'm going to show you so this piece of code which i have uh made it as a commented in this code is just gives you a very deeper level information for example say you need an information about like at what time what word is been spoken right so this is what the speech you know this is what the uh, for loop help us but here our use case is to get only the transcript i'm just adding the confidence so that you know even you know whenever you do a transcript or you not know, when you do a transcribe of a video it does gives a result of the transcription with a certain confident you know confident uh, number basically so confident is nothing but you know it's just probability basically you know out of out of out of you know how confident that api is that you know it is the the transcription return is you know how accurate okay so that is what the confidence tells all about right so for now let me run the run the video so before i i execute this code i want to show you the video basically so if i go to the video and just play the video so this is the same video i used for video uh, you know label detections so this is a very nice beautiful uh, uh, video which represents about some about something about nature if i can deepening to the brown right so it has some some spoken right it has some spoken english and which we need to convert into uh, i looked into his large uh, convert into a transcript basically they right. seem somehow to express his intent right, so the video is of is length uh, something like around like uh, say uh, so for example 2.42 uh, seconds yeah so now as you saw the video let's do a transcription okay and then i'm going to i'm going to read the i'm going to play the video again so that you can compare the output and how accurately this video intelligence uh, you know api helps us okay so for now let me just run the uh, command so once you run the command so you see it is printed the statement called processing the video and this is the statement number line number 27 is the one which actually takes 2 minutes so while it takes a 2 minutes i'm going to run the video parallel you know, side by side so basically let me do it here only So currently, I'm playing this video and just go to the uh, starting, right? So if you see here, so this is what we are actually transcribing. I I was by the and the current the method, forest. the current demo that Shades I'm showing you here is, is a is a you know the static the video. Since you have one video files and you want to keep on transcribing, okay? so that is where trees, trees, this scenario fits in. But I believe that there could be the another scenario where the, the video is been you know live going on, so that the and you need to transcribe. Okay, so that needs some more work around here, and we might need to. think about more sophisticated solution in that case 
But this case is only for you know, so you have a static uh, MP4 file or some other video file. So in that case, you know, so you can use this method to transcribe the content of that video into a form of text. Here you go, right? So it has taken uh, just um, a close to a minute and it has transcribed. Okay, so if I play this video. I looked in his so hope that you know the voice are being, uh, being audible here. They so if I go down, to it has successfully played everything. Right? So you see whatever you see the transcript. Okay? First couple of transcription is what not happening if I go down. So because because in the starting the of the video there is no voice, so there is nothing is been transcribed. Free animal. And then there comes a situation where the you know the voice starts to speaking, and let's say somebody starts to speak in the video. And that has been transcribed clearly the forest, with the proper punctuation, right? So you see, I remember I was struck something here. That added richness of perception. Right. So if I go to the richness, so we were here. I was this one, I right? So now we should hear this one. Beauty. And I found myself thinking, this is yeah. where I belong. So basically. You know, so it has it Together, has transcribed the, the, you know, the content. You see. All right. So now, the what I do is let me do a, a one more. Uh, uh, you know, so let me stop the video. So basically, it has transcribed the video the as expected, right? The Even the video length is two forty-two, but you know, it has transcribed in a, in a seconds, and it clearly tells the confidence. You see, the confidence is quite high. It is zero point nine, which is close to the probability, high probability. So if it is less than, you know, so basically, if it uh, the 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 confidence value. Though it is, you know, as it goes closer to the value one, which means that you know confidence is high. As it close to the zero, so which means that you know confidence is very low. So you see, the all the confidence here is you know above eight, eight point five, zero point eight five, which is nothing but above eighty five percent. Or someone is like ninety one percent, which is high confidence basically. Yeah. All right. So now, now let's see. You know, so when did these words are being spoken, right? So we can get that data as well. Uh, I know. So by by uncommenting this another piece of code. Anyways. This script will be shared in my GitHub repo, and the GitHub repo link will be shared in my video's description. You can find it from there. So now let me run this script again, and you're gonna get some more detailed insights about this uh, transcription. Yeah. So if I run this again, so basically it's gonna take the another another uh, uh, two minutes, yeah, another one minute. So while that, I'm gonna play this video again. Play. So so, so as as the voice getting one. so we got it here. So we need to wait for a couple of seconds. Oh, Remember that you know I have already invoked the script and the script is running and the video is also being played parallelly in the same screen here. All right, so hello world. Yeah, so basically it looks like it it has done the job. And you have a nine seconds. So what is the so let me make you a clear note. So whatever the 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 note or the you know the words been shown here, which is not spoken is will not be converted into a transcript. Okay, so only voice. A video contains a voice and the picture, right? So basically, in that one, so when you play a, a voice and an audio together, that's what the video is, right? So in that one, if you take out the voice, whatever the words spoken in that voice is will be a transcribed. What right? an amazing As I was, was telling you, so if we uncomment that piece of code, so we're gonna get up some more insights from the in the transcribe. So you see, here is what it says. So word level transcription, in the sense at this seconds, you know, at this seconds, the, the this word is been spoken. So all this information we're gonna get this, okay? All right. So this script is is very awesome, and it is given from AWS. It is given from the Google Cloud, from the Video Intelligence Team. So we should be using it as it is. So there is no, um, there is no nothing. So we can play around the by adding some more logic. But yeah, the consumption of this API would remain as it is, as I'm explained here. All right. So with that note, I have shown you the things need to be shown in this video. Finally, I can't request please do subscribe my channel. That would really encourage me a lot. So with that note. Thank you. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.